Welcome back, and thank you for coming back to my lessons again this morning. We are going to look at the density of a mixture. Before we can do that, let me remind you that one of the most important things in physics is units, the quantities and the units. And this morning's example is a very good one to show us how important units are. Now, to do well in physics, to understand physics, this is what we should be doing all the time. Output revision, practice, rehearse. It is not like input revision where you just read books over and over again, which does not help very much. To help you, you must do output revision, rehearse, answer questions like what we are doing this morning now. All right? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate the density of a mixture, something like the question today. Let's take a look at the question. 160 grams of alcohol is mixed with 500 centimeters cube of water. The volume of the mixture becomes 690 cubic centimeters. The density of the water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. What is the density of the mixture? Now, before we even look at it closely and do the calculations, let me give you the example of what actually is happening here. All right? Now, let's take a look at some of the things that we have in the question. This is the alcohol. All right? And I'm going to mix the alcohol with the water. All right? Remember, the alcohol... Are you thirsty? Okay. Don't drink this. Okay. Not for drinking. All right. With the water. Now, this is the mixture that we are talking about now. This is the mixture. All right. Let's take a look at the question again. What are we talking about? Density. So density, if you look at the equations given, I've just picked out a few and enlarged it. Which formula will we be using in this question? This is the one. Rho, which is density, is equal to mass divided by volume. It's very simple. Look at the basics, look at the units, and you will be all right. Okay, let's take a look at it again. 160 grams of alcohol, 500 cubic centimeters of water, mix it together. Now, in this question, I'm going to show you a very, very good technique of answering it. You follow my method, you will not go wrong, and you will find that it is very easy. Okay, the equation. Now, we must draw. Okay, first and foremost, you follow my example, go and draw uh, three columns, okay? One, two. Okay, ready? Now, just now we had alcohol. I'm going to write it down first. Alcohol is mixed with water. And then we got the mixture, right? We got the mixture. Hmm. Okay. All right. We have three. All right. Now, just now the alcohol, we had only 160 grams. So I'm going to draw it first, all right? Because by drawing it, it will help you to engage your mind all right, then you, you understand it very much better. So just now, I had my alcohol. Right? This is the alcohol. Okay. And then I had my water, isn't it? So I'm going to draw my water. I'm going to draw my water. 
The water was in the bottle just now, right? And then I mix the two, I got a lighter version of the liquid. Alright, since the volume is bigger, I just make it like this. Alright, this is just symbolic. Don't worry about the scale. Do you know what I mean? So we had alcohol, water, mixture. So it's very clear. We analyze it one by one. Right now, I would like you to pay attention to the units. Pay attention to what we have. Okay. The alcohol. What is given in the question? It is the mass. Alright. So you have to write down the mass of the alcohol, just put A. This is given by 160 grams. Is there anything else given about the alcohol? Alright, look at the question. Nothing is in it. Okay, now look at the water. What is given about the water? What do we know about the water? The volume. So you write down volume. Of what? Water, you put W. Alright? So the volume of the water is given as 500 cubic centimeters. So we write this down. Now what else is given about the water? Write down. Write down in this column so that we don't get mixed up. Very good. Density. So the density... Ah, density, rho. Alright? This is not P, it's rho. Density of the water is given as 1 gram per cubic centimeter. Anything else? Okay, what about the mixture? Ha! Ah, in the question, if you look at it, it says that the mixture has a volume of 690 cubic centimeters. So I write it down. Volume of the mixture. I put M-I-X. What is the value? 690 Okay, so I have volume equals to 690 690 gram, I need to write down the units huh? 690 volume. Uh, volume is not grams, it is cubic centimeters. Alright, write down. Now the units are very, very important. Not only here, but in any topic. Alright, what else is given? Nothing else. What do we want to find? Ha, we are supposed to calculate the value of the density. I put in red. The density of the mixture. That is our question. Okay. Now, to calculate the density of the mixture, what must I have? I must have the mass of the mixture divided by the volume of the mixture. Do I have mass of the mixture? Not yet. What about volume of the mixture? Yes. Up here, isn't it? Alright, so the volume of the mixture, I have got it. Is given. Now, the mass of the mixture, I have mass of alcohol. I have the mass of the alcohol, but I haven't got the mass of the water yet. Ah, look. Volume of water, density of water. I can actually now calculate the mass of the water, right? Because from the big formula that we were using just now, what do we have? Remember, rho equals to mass over volume. So what is mass? Mass equals to density times volume. And write down, I'm talking about water now. I'm talking about water, water. Alright? So we carry on. Okay? What is the density of the water? 1 gram per centimeter cube. Okay, I'm going to teach you this. Multiplied by volume, 
500 cubic centimeter. Sorry, take that away. Gram per centimeter cube. All right, that's the right way to write. So, you look, I cancel this. So, what is my answer here? I will have 500 grams. Now, 500 grams is the mass of the water. Mass of alcohol is 160 grams. This is 500 grams. So, what is the mass of the mixture now? Can you see it? So, you see, what I have basically done, I have actually helped you now, alright? I have helped you by asking you to draw three columns. Alright? You have three columns so that you don't mix up. If you drew, if you had done everything just together, you mix everything up, you'll be so confused. Whereas now I have broken it up into three parts. Step by step, you do it. So now let us go to the final calculation, which is I want the mass of the mixture. So I just write down one step first. What is the mass of the mixture? is equals to the mass of A, the alcohol, plus the mass of the water, alright? Okay, so mass of A is 160 grams, plus mass of water, 500 grams. So this gives me 660 grams, okay? So now I only have to look at the third column, the mixture column, all right? So now final step, what is the, therefore, what is the density of the mixture? Mass of mixture is 660 grams divided by volume of mixture. 690, 690, right? 690 cubic centimeters. Okay, and the final answer, you will be able to get 0 0.957 gram per cubic centimeter. Okay, so this is the answer. This is the mixture. Alright, so that is the density of the mixture. Now, I have taken time to explain to you. Now remember, what is more important to you now is, you have learned the process of learning, the process of writing uh, down the sequence of events, what has happened, how to answer questions. And by doing this, you understand concepts so much better. You are breaking it into parts so that a simple question does not become complex. All right, I can see from the expression on your faces that you are satisfied. Very good. So, this is how we worked the answer out. Okay. Now, look at the learning outcome again. As I said, by now, you are able to calculate the density of a mixture. All right. And once again, I would like to say thank you very much for being with me and may God bless you. Once again, I will see you in my next lessons.